Yes, one can survive in a bath with 400 pounds of ice in tropical Belize. Eleven of us proved it. In addition to that, if you want to see a bushery, a tropical river crab, and the dreaded palm weevil, follow me. Welcome back to my channel where I share slices of my life here on our jungle polyculture organic farm practicing food forest farming here in the tropics and in the rain. Join me on my adventures! Eel-billed toucan, the national bird of Belize, is the sound you can hear in the background. Traveling to Maya Beach today to participate in a ice bath, a Wim Hof ice bath with a friend of mine uh, from Utah, Shelley. Looking forward to it done one before, was able to manage six minutes, we'll see how today goes. Copper Bank. We have a friend up there in the fishing village. If you're familiar with Corzal area, mm -hmm. we flew to Kikokker, uh, saw them swam with the stingrays and the nurse oh, sharks. Wow. And at first I was a little bit afraid, um, but just like anything that we've never done before, there can be a little hesitation in our minds. Mm -hmm. And then we do it and we're like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Similar to the ice bath experience. <laughs> I'm hoping we can get it to see what we can do. Um, cold water is considered 56 degrees. Amazing. Times. So thank you for bringing this beautiful method here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. It's so fun to be able to travel and share stuff that we're passionate about. And <laughs> so we're born and we take our first breath. We die. We take our last breath. And so breath is carrying us, or we're carrying our breath, however you want to uh, perceive it throughout your life and that it's okay to feel stress, it's just what you do with it. Because you have the capacity to control stress, and it's not so much a case of getting rid of it, it's more of utilizing stress. So we're not gonna teach a stress-free way to be here, we're actually going to invite stress. And so I love this method in the way that holding your breath, going into the ice bath, it really is like how you do life with stress. How are you with challenge? <laughs> Getting ready for the ice bath. Woohoo! Ooh. 
Good job, Ooh, Nicole. Ha. Ooh, ha. Ha. Everyone support Ooh, Eugene. Ha. You got this. clearing some stumps because we've got to widen the road over here and the bulldozer won't be able to take out these small stumps so we're chopping some of them out with a really good axe sharpened the handle's not that great but something that needs to be done gives you respect for those early pioneers who used an axe to chop down trees and build their own houses. Construction at Amethyst today. Training session. Kanga on the leash. Girl. Good girl. Good boy. Good boy. If you enjoy what I'm sharing, please like, subscribe, and share with friends. I have two helpers this morning. We are going to be harvesting bamboo. You can see the stand there in the background. We're hoping to get about 20 to 25 culms of straight bamboo for today, for construction. The harvesting is in full process. Behind me are some of the ones we've already cut. My two assistants are working very hard, doing very well. This is one of the culms that is very nice and straight. It's not that old, probably only about three or four years old, but still it's a nice straight one, so we will be harvesting this one. This is the boucherie system which I have built. There are two tanks here. The one is water. The second one is the uh, boron solution which I make. It then comes through these pipes to this pump. Pumps it further on. There's a pressure gauge. I can adjust the pressure. There's a pressure tank and a pressure switch which regulates the pressure. This upright is a flow back. I, it helps me regulate the pressure and the volume as well. It then goes to this branch with All valves through to what we call the four bazookas. 
and the solution is running is being pumped through the capillaries in the bamboo columns all the way through and out the other end into the buckets all four columns of bamboo are now dripping I researched a design of the Boucherie bamboo preservation method, modified it slightly, designed it, and then built it from scratch. The boron solution, which I pump through the system into the bamboo culms, is a mixture of orthoboric acid and borax. Which, and this solution travels through the vascular bundles of the bamboo comb going all the way through, displacing the sugary carbohydrate solution which is normally there, comes out the end and I recycle the boron solution. This process which takes about an hour from beginning of the pumping to the time the fluid which I have some dye in it, comes out the other end so you can see when all the sugary fluid has been displaced, extends the life of the bamboo from about three or four years uh, without any treatment to about 20 years, which makes it an ideal process for preservation of bamboo and construction here in the tropics. If you follow my channel, you will know by now that I am building a bungalow in the jungle, out of bamboo and partly out of timber. At the moment we are busy with the footings, so stay tuned and follow the progress. I harvested some cacaos this morning and I was talking about the holes in them. I opened this one and I think I found the culprit that's making the holes. Look here. It is a beetle of sorts with a very sharp proboscis or mouth part that would be easily be able to make a hole in the cacao. There he goes. The male and a female yes, or what? Yes, male and female. The male's on top? That's the female. Oh, there's the, the female. There's, there's the male over there. Wow, that's him. That's the one I caught. South American palm weevil. How do you say that name? Rinko Forest? Palmaro. Today I'm planting a cacao tree <clears throat> in honor of a good friend of mine who turned 70, Jules. She actually asked me to plant something in her honor, which is what I'm doing. I'm going to add some compost, mix it in. I will label it so that we remember what this tree is and whose it is. There you are, Jules, just for you. Concluding with this magnificent video of the flamboyant tree, also called a flame tree, Royal Poinciana, it has many names, regarded by many as one of the most beautiful trees in the world. So we have witnessed the Wim Hof ice bath in tropical Belize, the Boucherie bamboo preservation method, a freshwater crab, a hummingbird, and the South American palm weevil, which threatens the coconut industry here in Belize. And by the way, it's also threatening my morning mocha 
made with my homegrown cacao. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.